Welcome to an introduction to the GenoSpace Network Director 1.0 user interface. GenoSpace Network Director is a browser-based network management application for managing Juniper network switching and wireless products. This video will introduce you to the application's user interface and typical workflow. Let's start by looking at the typical workflow you will use to get things done. The typical workflow you will use to do a task is select the mode that contains the task you want to do, select a scope to identify which devices you want to work with, select a task to perform, then perform the task in the workspace. Use the Network Director banner to select a working mode and to access system level tasks. Use the mode buttons to select which mode to work in. The modes represent the phases of the network management lifecycle. Each mode contains a group of related tasks. Access to the modes can be controlled by a system administrator, so you might not be able to access every mode. Use Build Mode to build and configure the network. Use Deploy Mode to deploy configuration changes and software images to devices and manage device configuration files. Use Monitor Mode to monitor network devices and activity. Use Fault Mode to detect network faults. Use Report Mode to create and run reports about the network. Use System Mode to do Network Director system tasks like auditing and job management. You use the other banner buttons to access system level resources, including the Juno Space Platform, System and User Preferences, online help, and information about Network Director, and to log out of the system. You use the View pane to select a device or group of devices that you want to work with. The View pane provides an organized hierarchical view of your network in the form of an expandable and collapsible tree. The network tree contains network devices and containers collectively called nodes. You select a node to set the scope. Notice that the active scope is shown in the Tasks pane. All nodes contained within the selected node are in the scope. Many tasks operate only on the devices that are contained within the selected scope. The combination of the selected mode and selected scope determines which tasks are available. Only tasks within the selected mode that apply to the devices in the selected scope are available. The View pane provides several views, which are different ways of organizing your device inventory. Select the view that you want to use from the drop-down list. The logical view allows you to organize devices according to their function in the network. The location view allows you to organize devices according to their physical location. The device view organizes devices according to their device model. Use the task pane to select a task to perform. The list of available tasks varies depending on the selected mode and scope. Some tasks operate only on the devices in the selected scope, which is shown at the top of the pane. In build mode, the task pane contains tasks for managing profiles. You use profiles to define sets of configuration that you can deploy to multiple devices in your network. Most of the work happens in the workspace. Selecting a task typically opens a page or wizard in the workspace where you do that task. The Alarms pane provides a summary of the active alarms on the network. Click the Expand button to open Fault Mode. Thank you for watching this introduction to the GenoSpace Network Director 1.0 user interface. For more information, you can use the online help built into the user interface and the GenoSpace Network Director technical documentation on juniper.net.